And hey there, guys. Today we're bringing you a slightly different work, different from the ones with music that I also bring to you on the channel. But our story starts with a fight. But this fight had a tragic end for the humans. All the humans died, and the last line of defense was left behind him. Everyone was defeated, and the city behind them was basically about to fall to the ground. But why? It was just a game. So he wonders, why this horror? This entire horror that happened here became his reality, and now no one can stop these monsters, and they were the only warriors. So at this moment he stands up and faces the final boss. For him the world was sometimes boring, so there's only one thing left here, to try a new skill, and even if he dies, he will die happy. Maybe as a great hero, or maybe not. So Mu Shen goes with his maximum power to fight this monster, but Mu Shen fails. The kid is torn to pieces at this moment. He just accepted that humanity lost, but even so, dying there, he didn't accept it. Mu Shen didn't accept his defeat. No one accepted defeat either. But he shouts that he didn't accept it, and he wouldn't accept it anyway. But while shouting about this, everyone in the classroom looks at Mu Shen, completely surprised by what happened. But the teacher who was there at the front calls for him and wonders what he was doing and asks him to shut up since it wasn't a good moment for him to be shouting needlessly. Moreover, he should be shouting about his grades. His grades are very low and no college entrance exam wanted him. He asks him to sit down and shut up, looking at his arms around him. Mu Shen wonders if he didn't die because then an announcement appears that there are five minutes left to submit the entrance exam. They needed to submit this exam. If not, they wouldn't pass to anything. At this moment, he sees that the entrance exam was 10 years ago. So M.U. Shen realizes that he went back 10 years into the past, a day before or a few months before, that virtual test of that ghostly world from happening in his world. So, ignoring what was happening in front of him, he puts his hand in his pocket, pulls out a ring. This was his apocalypse ring. He wonders how it came back with M.U. Shen. It was a ring that allowed M. Yu Shen to enter the apocalyptic game. But can he enter the game before? The question could be answered. But the teacher interrupts him, calling him trash and wondering if this trash really wants to waste his life there. He points in a direction and asks him to leave, telling him to get out. Mu Shen asks him to stop. He wasn't trash, or maybe he could be trash, but now he would basically be handing him a pure reality. If he doesn't want to accept it, basically, live his life like this apocalyptic era that will really happen in his world, and he could be preparing beforehand. But never mind. He ends up ignoring this. Simu just wanted to focus solely on his goals, but the professor asked him to return because he hadn't finished scolding our Simu yet, as he would soon understand the meaning of what he said. However, the professor asked him to be able to speak such nonsense while ignoring Mu Shen. He exits here in front, but the students, his classmates, laugh at Simu for seeing Mu Shen confront the professor. The kid was really cool today, but ignoring all this, years have already passed to another place. The year was 2046 on the Blue Planet's calendar. The virtual game completely completed the world, emerging from nowhere and quickly spreading throughout the world in just a few years. National leaders and ordinary people all became players and were dragged into this world. The game currency could also be exchanged for real money. A single weapon could buy a car or luxury mansions, and it even involved world leaders who also decided to make transactions in the apocalyptic world. Some people also became the richest in this apocalyptic world overnight, but there were also those who lost everything in an abyss. But nothing could stop the wave of the apocalyptic game. And who could imagine that all this would happen after everything started? With all this power, they should unite to defeat the monsters. But humans continued all the wars. However, Knowing that the monsters were almost defeating humans by seeing them fighting among themselves, they eventually ended up uniting their strength to fight against the monsters, and thus the war began. But even though the powers of humans were insignificant against the original demonic gods of this game, humanity there never lost hope. They wanted to win. And in the end, there was no chance. Humans couldn't win. The feeling of basically living here was perhaps all a dream an illusion that he lived before, and Mu Shen was also the only one who died in battle and didn't even have a chance to live again. But at this moment, 
He still believes that the light of humanity will shine again, so he returns to his home. But at this moment, M. Yu Shen notices that there was a letter on his table. This letter only mentioned that they would go on an expedition and return later. At this moment, M. Yu Shen understands that now everything will be different. His father and mother would surely survive until the end of this game, and he would do everything to eliminate any monster that came. So then, it passes to another day, at 11 o'clock in the morning. Here he takes his ring, and Mu Shen thinks that this ring belongs to him, and he might use it to perhaps change a bit of humanity's destiny within that world. So he wishes for this thing to work, and as he puts that ring on his finger, a glow begins to emerge from it. At this moment, Mu Shen realizes that yes, it worked. His soul leaves his body. At this moment, Simu will be conquering everything in that other world again. As he was being drawn further and further into that apocalyptic world, he felt happy because this was his second time in this world. But now Mu Shen knows all kinds of monsters and anything that exists there. As he enters this dimension, Mu Shen meets an old man who asks him to reconnect to the server. He also asks the warrior to become strong because he is the future of humanity. After this small motivation, the old man gives M. Yu Shen some skills he could choose. Choose this one, the sorcerer. Since it is his past life, he chose another class. Mu Shen didn't like it. Since he needed a lot of money, he suffered a lot to become strong. Now he is going to use that skill. But as soon as he chooses that skill, the system appears and comments that it was impossible. He could not change his profession since he already has one. At this moment, M. Yu Shen is confused, asking how this could be. He never entered this kind of dimension, and moreover, never had a class. But the old man asks our Simu to check his system screen to see what type of class he has. So Simu opens his system and shows there that Simu was level one, zero experience, but his profession was that of a mage. Here, Tordo wonders what the hell is happening, and this is no joke. He was already reborn, so everything should have been reborn with zero. But what Mu Shen realizes now is that he was also reborn with his skills. He who lived once as a mage knows the suffering of having this class, and it was necessary to have infinite money to upgrade this class to the maximum level. But the old man ends up fleeing. So seeing that he left, M. Yu Shen sees that he was reborn, but wanted to basically be reborn with something of well-being, like being born with the sword that kills a dragon. However, M. Yu Shen stops and thinks that maybe he was also reborn with his equipment, and he even set a high expectation for this. But upon opening the system, he questions what kind of rebirth this is. An heir to the profession who could be reborn with the profession he had in his past life, but Mu Shen also wonders why it was not possible to be reborn with his equipment as well. But of everything that was not there, there was one thing a skeletal hand. Now, wondering what this is, we observe its statistics. The quality of this skeletal hand is unknown, but its description comments that when you look into the abyss, the abyss looks back at you and sends you to rise. Mu Shen tries to understand the logic of these things he just gained. Even without attributes, Mu Shen would not be able to do anything, and at the moment he would be useless. So he needed something to help him with his rebirth. But as he started about this, he suddenly gets somewhat sucked into another place. Now, Mu Shen already has the class and some good things to start with. Moreover, upon entering this new world, the system congratulates him as Mu Shen is now the first to enter this apocalyptic world. Also, for being the first player, Mu Shen received a specific title and some extra gifts. Thus, his title is given as the fastest man in the world. He is angry about this. He doesn't think anyone would use this name for anything, but he stops and thinks upon seeing that his attributes were basically improved a lot. So he thinks that this unique exclusive was something that M. Yu Shen deserved. For a long time, M. Yu Shen thought about fighting boars but never succeeded. But now he will try to do something. He will deal with these boars first. So, Mu Shen takes the thing he had in hand and simply launches a fireball towards those small boars. The boars then receive 12 damage, but the damage is not enough, and the boars are always simply happy about it. He stops and wonders how 12 damage could be. 
Ah, after a, after a long time, Mu Shen realizes that this was due to his level here being level one. He had forgotten what it was like to be level one, but he runs. After running for a good while, he stops. However, upon stopping there, Mu Shen hears a girl's voice who was running in his direction. The wild boars, our hero, also runs. She was asking for help, and at the same time, we discover why she is asking for help, as behind her appears a gigantic wild boar. He asks to help kill this dangerous wild boar. Our hero asks her to run in his direction because he would help. But at this moment, a system appears asking to save the girl. In exchange, it would give him some good rewards. And for him, this was not bad. Here was his first mission. She was running, but at the same time, Mu Shen saw that there were some difficulties trying to kill such a large boar. There she runs into his arms. She then runs in his direction into his arms, and he only asks her to run towards the pike's arm that Mu Shen protects. But as he got closer, he then gives her what she wanted, a big slap. Out of nowhere, she flies backward. The wind blows, and the large boar and the small boar stop and try to understand the story. Then she wonders how the warrior managed to do this. She was just collecting some mushrooms until the boar king attacked her. Now she wondered how this warrior knew her story and also knew some other things that in the past she took her grandfather's treasure and exchanged it for some sweets and also put frogs in the water tank for the old man to drink. However, he also knows that she, along with a small demon, also tried to take his power. Now looking closer, he also notices some marks appearing on her. She then wonders how he knew this whole story, but for now, she does not care about it anymore. But now the system shows her attributes, which were quite high, but how dare he also enter her mind? Our protagonist just said that this was just some blood and tears experiences he had in his past life with her. But at this moment, she attacks Mu Shen already asking him to die already. But quickly he dodges, passing by the boar and by her, and also asks the boar to take care of her now that he was with Mu Shen. Thus, it is done. She attacks the boar. The boar, seeing this, simply gets irritated, blowing smoke from its nose. He uses a skill that makes him stronger, but this did not help much because his mothers were much more powerful. She quickly ended up cutting the boar into pieces. Now that she finished with the boar, she yells that he is next. Mu Shen asks her to let go of his foot, but she would not do that. But she starts losing control of her power. This was a unique opportunity. At this moment, he turns, and with his staff, Mu Shen casts a fireball at her, and that fireball hits her, causing 36 damage, making her more irritated, asking for this human to disappear. And how dare he also deceive her. Due to this, Mu Shen deserves to die. But on his part, he did not want to die like this. So running, he quickly turns and throws another fireball at her, but she does not stop. Thus, it is done for several minutes. He runs, turns, and attacks her, causing 39 damage each minute. Thus running, M.U. Shen asks for that she or followed but now stopping. He ends up remembering according to his memories of his previous life. The magical source of X Huan comes from the pollution of the demonic energy of the forest, and then moving away enough she can no longer move there from that forest that he simply made her run, ten minutes away from the forest. Now he asks for our X Huan to run towards him. She then agrees she runs and asks him to stay still, but he stays well. As soon as she gets close, she stops. She starts to tremble and wonders how it was possible. Again, he discovered a new weak point of hers now. Mu Shen just asks her to stay still, because now he will be using a new ability on her. A giant fireball appears from there and falls in her direction. She is startled by this. And at this moment, our ex Huan ends up being defeated by him there quickly, as soon as he defeats her quickly. Mu Shen ends up gaining some points, so he can be adding new attributes. His boy is very happy to see that he also managed to get some possibilities of getting stronger, gaining some percentages, and the fate of Shan ended up being determined by trying to pursue him. The one given there after defeating her was quite amazing, 
but M. Yu Shen wanted to see what X. M. Yu would be giving as a reward, also by taking hidden things from her. But at this moment, that unknown arm appears a kind of up there. He turns around so M. Yu Shen grabs that bone hand and realizes that this hand of the dead god leveled up at the same time when he leveled up too. This was the hand of death, but the hand of death was a new thing, and it was for him Mu Shen was surprised, because he had never even heard of it in his previous life. He thought it was really cool. This yes, it was, but to activate it was necessary to do some gadgets, but M. Yu Shen gives up now. He needs to focus now on other things. He needed to collect some materials, so for that, he would need to go to the beginner's village soon. So she is happy to see that M. Yu Shen saved her life in exchange, so she would be giving him a gift. This gift was a very powerful staff. Logically, this would be perhaps the gift he felt he deserved. What he now holds in hand was a celestial staff that was actually a purple item, but later a little. He would be identifying this in the beginner's village. Only that the girl asks M. Yu Shen to carry her to the village as a bodyguard, and soon then the system appears, saying that M. Yu Shen needed to complete a quest to take Zhuan back to the village, where King Guan King Hu would be giving him some good rewards. He doesn't really care about these rewards, because the real good reward there was her costing a little stronger on his back, so he continues forward until the village arriving already in the village. We see several people talking with him there. However, when approaching a cabin, she ends up reuniting with her grandfather, calling for her grandfather. We see there the old man's happiness stamped on his face. He was one of the village chiefs. He is so happy to see that his granddaughter was alive, she is also happy to see that he was waiting for her. While there, this whole drama happened. We observe in the background, our protagonist M. Yu Shen receives this reward from the system, so he arrives there to thank this warrior for bringing her safe and sound to his village. But the warrior asks for the old man not to be so happy. But the old man asks for a new thing, so that he could do there in the blood of our ex Huan. There was still a little poison. So Mu Shen just asks for, Our hero hunted some zombies, because thanks to the zombie blood, he will be able to completely remove a certain poison still in her body, and so he accepts the mission. Accepting the mission, the system appears celebrating his happiness. He leaves. The old man asks that the warrior does not suffer so much and wished good luck to Mu Shen. Mu Shen says goodbye to the old man, thus advancing. But now that he will be fighting monsters, and he is a mage, Mu Shen will need to be well prepared at this moment. So Mu Shen will have to look for a pharmacist to get those extra items and those additional things to help him finish off the monsters. Thus, he goes to a certain pharmacy that was nearby. Entering, he observes the beauty and calls for Mu Shen. Then entering, he asks to be given about 28 small blue potions. Each potion costs only 50 gold. So, since he will need 28, it will cost 1,500 gold in total. However, she approaches our hero and wonders if he really only wants those blue potions. If Mu Shen can make the sister here a little happy, she will probably give a good discount to our hero, but he disagrees and was not interested. The only thing Mu Shen wanted was his potions, and did not know why he was leaving. After a good while, he leaves. She asks him to maybe come back later for some things she still needed to do with Mu Shen. Thus we observe him leaving, but she still asks him to come back. However, another warrior appears wondering what they were talking about inside. It is likely that the two were a couple at this moment. Mu Shen approaches the warrior to explain the whole story to him so that things do not get worse. Thus, he ends up delivering that and leaving. In another place, we can observe him picking up some things he bought at the pharmacy, but identifying items' faces in this game. It was more exciting than playing in real life. But soon, there will be specialized merchants selling unidentified items, and the rich started these battles to see who reaches the top. But at this moment, he needed to make a stolen staff, and so he hoped with all his might to evolve this staff into something quite powerful. After a minute of tension, he gets what M. Yu Shen wanted. His staff ends up reaching a rather rare class. So now that M. Yu Shen has the best staff, it was the best moment to start hunting the zombies to wipe them out. And so the scene cuts to the zombie area. We observe fire falling from the sky. The zombies on the ground are all caught by it. Soon he used a 10% fire rate 
that allows the zombies to suffer extra damage, which allows him to finish off the zombies quickly. Suffer, but the hand of that skeleton that is there, he may also be evolving, that in the future M.U. Shen may sell or may just use it. But he is also happy about a new thing that will happen. These are the players that sooner or later will be entering this world, and he will be able to earn quite a lot of money by selling to these new players. So, right, this business that he said would take a long time. Didn't take that long, because by noon we observed several people taking the ring. The same ring that M.U. Shen has there that our protagonist P before they put it all on their finger, and everyone is directed inside this realistic game here, entering the general world, already stays there, happy seeing that this game was too realistic. Now they will be doing almost everything to get the best equipment in here, but at this moment we observe some crazies touching that pharmaceutical, however one touched it, right? has to see that misfortune of dying by the blacksmith and wonder why the NPCs here are so angry like this. So, right? At this moment, while they were talking about this, we observe him in the background. Our hero setting up his little stand now was the moment for him to start what M.U. Shen was going to start selling items to. The monsters respawn every half hour. So all that was left was to wait here that players will appear after. Also, he having managed to kill quite a few monsters, he got quite a few items and a lot of medicine vials and a lot of something and a lot of red and blue potions he could now be selling this for a very high price. But at this moment, he was also level four. And if by chance he leaves this active, everyone will be looking at him and getting stuck about this. And what M.U. Shen wants at the moment is not to draw so much attention for this. He wants to sell things, not draw attention from other crazies who want to be fighting against him there out of nowhere. And so he finds a flag. There, minutes later, M.U. Shen shouts that he was selling high-quality items. Everyone who was then finds him an idiot for basically selling items of a game that has barely been launched. And who would be the crazy one wanting to buy right away? So the general already recognizes him as a fool. Everyone who was there already wanted to ignore this crazy guy who was trying to sell these things. Mu Shen then feels content inside himself for seeing that his attributes were too strong for these mere newbies here to be seeing there, so he can do whatever he wants at the moment here. But while no one was looking to buy something, we observe a girl approaching his counter, but as she approaches, she sees that the items were great, but asks why the prices were so high. The general gossips who were in the background were already fawning over her, seeing that she was the most beautiful. There, this was Ting Shu now that he looked a little closer at her. M.U. Xian tries to wonder what she was really doing here right at his counter. This one that just appeared in the future. She will be one of the ten mages of the Summer Kingdom and one of the highest command in a safe zone of high level in the apocalyptic world. She will be basically supported by a mysterious organization that in the future supported her to become stronger. However, she wants to show us something that in the past did not exist. Like in the past, you could not modify your character, which means that you entered here into this world with your real-life character. Well, he was lucky to find here firsthand the most beautiful girl that Mu Shen knows. However, she saw this sign a little arrogantly and thought. She was interested and wanted to see what he would sell so well. She approached our protagonist's stall to buy some things, but was surprised to see that the game had barely started, and he already had equipment that could only be found in the zombie area. Mu Shen wondered if she really wanted to buy, asking Musen if she would take some. She ended up wanting a few items, but since she was quite attractive and was one of the first to want to buy from them, he might be selling half of the items dropped on the ground for more than 55,000 gold. However, because she was beautiful, he would give her a discount. Nevertheless, she was sad to see that he was charging too much. If she thought it was expensive, there was another way to get a discount. She then wondered what she needed to do to get that discount. Soon, he shouted that if she just touched his thigh, he would give her a 20% discount on anything she wanted to buy. She stepped back, calling him shameless. If she didn't want to comply with what our protagonist proposed, she could find zombies herself 
and hunt the same items there. This guy was indeed trying to scam, but her guild didn't have that much money. She was interrupted abruptly when a guy said he would pay 100,000 gold coins and take everything. In the background, we observed a mysterious shadow and were introduced to a group of extras. As soon as M. Yu Shen glanced at this figure, he had some memories. This person was one of the top 10 ranked guys in Madam's guild. Even though it was his previous life, these memories were fresh in his mind. This was a guy who would steal from bosses or any type of monster. They were dying to be on top, but now in his life here, he didn't want to argue with someone like that. However, she interrupted him, asking why he was there. She had made a deal with him, but Mu Shen easily broke that deal. He asked her not to argue with him there, as she would surely lose. However, she raised the stakes, offering 150,000 gold coins for that TR of our hero. But Madame Work Hero there raised the price to 200,000 gold. Our hero realized that the Yuan and Madame's forces were basically spending all their money to buy these best equipment here. Although it was a bit expensive, it was still worth it as getting stronger faster with these items would help a lot. As he was thinking about the next plan, he noticed that she couldn't miss her opportunity. Turning embarrassed, she agreed to some things with him. Noticing this, he asked this new opponent of his to leave because he had something important to address. Once he told him to get out of here, Mu Shen turned to Mu Shen and said that he should recognize him. Ignoring that, his companions interrupted what he was doing but he asked his boss to calm down. It wasn't good to fight in the village, but outside, they might play a bit with ambushes. Showing some hatred, the hatred was likely to be aimed at taking our hero down. Protagonist, but none of this was so worrying, because here the scene is cut to another place. Here it is cut to behind a church. At this moment, we see there the face of happiness of our hero. He ends up receiving some transitions of them. At this moment, he wanted to also get other things very, very precious from her, but she rudely asks him to leave. Otherwise, she would do something to him if he did something to her, but there was no need to worry. Definitely, it would be a next time, and next time, he will be making her touch his content from his last heart, even more likely that she is still very inexperienced. And although Moken is a rather arrogant and a little crazy guy... He was still a bit of a fine guy. Even if he never even loses 20% discount does not mean that 122,000 gold will be charged from her, but to have this discount will have to touch her legs. Well, she is a little hesitant about this, but Ruff throws against the wall. He wonders if she really wants to fulfill the promise to exchange the legs. Well, she does not. She does not know, but our protagonist asks if she was prepared then to return to her word that she says pressing her. We see her still staying hesitant. He understands a little of the story, smiling a little mew. Shen moves away. He will have a loss. Even a quite large or even considered well will be making the transition, so she does not understand how this really worked. Basically, he reveals that he has a little grudge against Madam HK, that guy from Aness, and never planned to sell items to that guy. Well, it was a little remarkable. But to obtain a large amount of supply from the beginning, we see her wondering who would be this such moose in there, besides that he offended the Madame group. Well, for now, they are not so dangerous, but in the future, maybe it will be. But still, she needed to stay strong to be able to help him since M.U. Shen just helped her there. But here the scene is cut to another place in the village. There we see the system congratulating already Moosin here for having completed his mission. The old man thanks too. Since due to our protagonist's help a Chao Huan to get his blood completely clean. Besides that the beasts attacked a lot by these guys there. And due to that their village had some quite high casualties. But however he only asks him for some bandages so that he can be using on him there. Even so, he also had some accumulated points, which means he can be putting all these accumulated points in magic. So as soon as he does this, the system shines and he ends up leveling up. Then the system screen appears showing the new Shimu stats. However, Shimu is very happy to see that M.U. Shen managed to be much ahead of the noobs. Well, this was more than expected from our Shimu, but now he needed basically to focus on other missions as quickly as possible moving forward. He also comments that it seems that he even used some cheaters to have these advances faster and kind of used. 
Yes. So moving forward, he stops, shocked. He thinks that he forgot. Well, he forgot something important. But this important thing he leaves for later after stopping and thinking he remembers that the old man had said something to him that this old man could cure anything. However, then he ends up inventing that he had a terminal illness and he needed only the help of the old man. Only old man in the whole universe could cure him with the performance that deserves a 10 out of 10. We observe the old man simply watching him there, but the old man does not stay still. So the old man starts to accept some magic words, saying that he leaving him, he will not let you. Our warrior would die so easily from mere wounds. So he uses a cure and some buffs on our hero. The system appears saying that the old man gave M.U. Shen some buffs and extra fortunes. Now M.U. Shen, having received this, is happy to see that this was the true reward for adding the task. Chow, Huan demonized, this permanent buff from the village chief is quite a high springboard so that he could already be advancing a lot. But the background, figures who observe this performance of our hero end up replicating the same idea. They like the idea, and it might be a good idea to also give buffs to M.U. Shen. The old man is confused, but now our hero's next goal is to follow a dungeon. As it is said, he goes to a completely unknown dungeon. We observe him passing through forests, but this was not just any forest, as this forest where he is is a forest that every second drains five of his health. He saw that he could not use potions, could not do anything to recover his health there. Normal players would not last even 30 seconds there. However, even if you have money in life, you can buy potions. Well, these potions you could use to heal, but you would have to use them all the time. But with that cure that our hero got from the village chief, it will allow him to fully recover his health. But while he was happy about this, he sees in another direction he finds some things happening. We observe from another place this guy running, asking her to run, but these ghostly things were reaching her. However, talking about this, the cloth ends up wrapping around her, immobilizing her. Her companion, instead of helping, only sees her flying a little backward toward the bot. But at that moment, he finds our hero, he jumps in his direction and calls for them. It was too late because as he was getting closer, another cloth, a little different from the other, pierced his chest. What did this was one of those ghosts. He throws that human up while he was stuck in a pile. The system shows that he was level 5, his HP was 200. The monster... Monster level 5 was very high level, and this was considered a newbie killer. It was no wonder these noobs were being eliminated, but the speed of demonized mummies was not very fast, and he could use his staff to deal with them. So he sees the mummy approaching him with the staff in hand. He casts fire at it. The mummy cannot dodge and is hit full on, while its fellow mummies stand with their mouths open at the damage done. But they wouldn't stop. They chase after our hero. But this was perfect. His plan was going as he wanted. He needed to eliminate these creatures so that all resources would be delivered to him. He hoped they would reach him. But he saw that these slow mummies would not reach him. But at that moment he remembers that in the forest there is basically a swamp. And he then thinks of luring all these mummies there. Jumping to the other side, he sees that they bit the bait. But now he wonders why they haven't come. Perhaps they are scared, but that is not a reason to stay behind. However, what he did greatly irritated the mummies. The mummies then get angry and prepare to attack him. They all attack our hero. Hero, but quickly he dodges every blow from those mummies there, but the mummies did not stop. Just with that, they attacked from any side. The mummies gave a boring job to Elda, but it was easy to defeat. However, he needed a right just to start the party because now everything here will be starting at its good moment, but you know, man, this we will really be discovering literally only in a next part.